So from your homepage, you are going to navigate down to products. And then from there, you're going to click on gift cards. Now from the gift card menu, yours is probably going to look a little bit different if you have not ever used gift cards. So what you're going to see is likely add gift card product or issue gift card. So you're not going to see these down below until you've already issued one. So let's go ahead and I'm going to click on add gift card product. You should click on that too. And from there, you're going to give your gift card a title. And then you can add a description. So you can add your own description. I'm just using this as a test for now. And from there, you can actually add an image of your gift card. So if you watched part one of this video, I talked all about how to order gift cards from Shopify and how to either use Shopify's pre-made templates for gift cards or design your own. So I'm going to use the gift card that I used from my previous video. If you haven't seen that video yet, I recommend taking a look at it if you want to learn about how to actually order physical gift cards or design a gift card template like this. I will link to that video down below. But what I'm doing is I'm adding the front of the gift card and the back, and this is just gonna be an image of what the gift card looks like when the shopper is checking it out online. If you are primarily selling gift cards in a physical brick and mortar, you can still upload an image for when you check out. And then if we scroll down, you'll see that there are already some denominations set up. So of course, this is the price of the gift card. If you wanted to add another price, you can do so. If you wanted to delete one of the options, you're able to do so as well. And then from there, you can edit your search engine listing. So whatever you, whatever your SEO strategy is, this is where you can make those edits. And then from there, we can save gift card product. I'll scroll up and just make sure I don't forget to do anything else. You can of course determine what sales channels you want to select from and if you want to see a preview of it before you post, you can change it to draft status and then click save. And then from there, you're able to preview it, see what it looks like on your website. And then when you are ready to publish, you can change this to active status. And then click save. And that's all you need to do to create the gift card. So this enables your online customers to be able to check out your gift card online. And then if you have a brick and mortar, you can um, ring it up as a product as well. Now, if we go back to gift cards, so the screen we were on earlier, let's say that in this scenario, we wanted to issue a gift card. So what this means, if we click on the issue gift card button, this is if you want to gift someone a gift card for free. It could be as a promotion or it could be maybe an influencer you're working with. You can issue a gift card and you can set the value. And you can change the code or use the code that automatically populates. And then you can determine if you want an expiration date or not and add a note. So maybe this is for You can list a note so you know what you issued this gift card for to keep track for your records. 
And then if they already are an existing customer, you can search for their email here and then it will automatically send an email or you can manually, you know, you can email them the gift card code yourself or text them, whatever you see fit. And from there, I'm going to click activate. And now you can see if they've how much they've spent so far. So right now the balance is at $100, but once they start spending, it will update here. And you'll be able to see a timeline for when they make purchases. And then if you want to copy the code to send them, you would of course click the copy gift card code and then go send it to them manually if that's what you want to do. So now I'm going to go back and here we can see all of my gift cards. So right now I have an active gift card that someone, um, the one that we just created, the one that we would issue out. And then as people check out gift cards. So if we go to view gift card products, this is where you can see the one that I created in the first example. So no one has purchased this yet. So that's why it wasn't showing up on the previous screen. But once someone has purchased it, it should show up here. And you can use the filters above to see if people have partially used gift cards, if they have used the entire gift card. Or, I mean, when you click on full, it means the balance is full. If you click on empty, that means that they've used the entire gift card. And then you also have the ability to see what gift cards you disabled. So I disabled one when I was practicing for this demonstration earlier. And then if we go back to all, you can see I have one gift card enabled and one disabled. And then if I go to view gift card products, this is where the product is going to show up. And that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about setting up gift cards. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you next time.